Welcome back, Z learners. It is Milo from Riverbanks Zoo and Garden. Happy Wednesday to all of you. We are so excited to go live today here at the zoo. I'm inside one of our habitats in the Riverbanks Conservation Outpost, that tunnel section near our gorillas and meerkats. Those of you here are familiar with it. You know exactly what we're talking about today. In fact, you've almost been waiting an entire week for this very big announcement. Good afternoon, Sarah Grace. It is so great to see all of you returners joining us again for yet another Lunch and Z-Learn feature. Like I said, today is a big day. We are doing a very big announcement. Now, we've done birthday parties for Z-Learning. We've been a part of training sessions, feeding sessions, you name it. My gosh, we've done so many different live features now over the past almost year. And today is a first for us here with Z-Learning. We are announcing the name of one of our newest, smallest, cutest, if you ask me, residents here at Riverbanks. Because all of you tuned in, you voted, you sent your opinions of our three name options that our keepers selected to name our little baby porky pet, our pencil tail porcupine guy who's here with Olive. The three options were Picante, Rosario, and Ricardo. And I will tell you, I did it the old school way. I opened up Facebook, I tallied out manually all the different votes from my office, and I promise you, you have my oath. I counted them correctly, I triple checked. <laughs> And the totals came back, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn around the camera here in a second and show you who the winning name was as we officially announce the name of our Porky Pet. But I do have to let you know, I am not alone just with Olive and our new little guy. I'm actually joined by Becca, our senior keeper here in the Animal Ambassador Department. She's actually already feeding snacks to the newly named Porky Pet. I have to stop myself before I accidentally say the new name of him. Let me go ahead and turn around the camera. You've all been waiting for this. Let's see what the name is. Congratulations, everybody who voted for Picante. Picante was a landslide win. Like I said, I tallied out all of the votes. Picante won by, oh my gosh, I want to say probably about 170 votes off the top of my head. But you just can see Becca's here in the background. She has her zookeeper shirt on and everything. Right behind her is where Picante, our newest little guy, our newly named individual, is hanging out. We'll go say hi to him in a second. But I have to give a shout out to Becca and her team for making this. Because, of course, we tallied up all the names, we closed out everything, got everything already. So they had plenty of time to design this beautiful banner because it is au naturel. Yes, there are, of course, little peppers hanging from it. They're glued up with banana smushed behind, so the porcupines will eventually sniff those out. Palm leaves, of course, all organic. And this is going to actually be hanging inside of our prancel tail porcupine exhibit, at least for the rest of the day, until they <laughs> destroy it, at least. Which probably will be this evening, since they're a little bit more nocturnal. But I'm going to go ahead and scooch on over closer to Becca and Picante. I can now officially say it, everybody. <laughs> I'm so excited. But we're going to actually go ahead and scooch on over here so that way we can get a better view. Let me go ahead and turn around the camera so you all can see. All right, Becca, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. You've had the whole month of February, pretty much. You've been in everybody's feed with Lunch and Z-Learn. But it is so great to see... Picante. Check him out, everybody. He looks so different, my goodness. Becca, he is almost unrecognizable. How much longer do you think he'll have a little bit of that red hair sticking um, out in between those quills? That red hair will probably stick around for that whole 10 weeks that sure. before he is weaned. We might see little tiny pieces of that hair stick around, but for the most part, he is starting to look a lot like an adult. Okay, now wait a second. You said 10 weeks. How old is he today? He is approaching the five-week mark here. Okay, I was going to so say, so we're half about halfway through. Halfway. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, because I know I was on the tip of my tongue last time, but he just looks so different. He looks like a grown-up. Okay, so everyone, this is Picante. Welcome aboard to the Riverbanks family. But I have to give mom attention to all of us hanging out in her favorite corner. <laughs> she is all curled up. Now, eventually, Picante, here in just a handful of weeks, is going to look much more like mom. He won't be exactly the same size as her quite yet, 
It'll take a little bit more growing to do. But mom's hanging out there there. Becca's been feeding her some snacks. She might be curious enough to join us here in a second. But Picante's getting all the attention today. What is he snacking on today, Becca? So he has started to eat banana and sweet potato. That's some of his favorite snacks so far. And so he has actually, since we last saw him two weeks ago, started doing some training to be an ambassador animal. And so he already knows how to target, he knows how to sit up, and he knows how to let us touch him and feel around with his quills. So he is already getting ready for those ambassador programs in his future. Let's see if he'll sit up for us. Oh yeah, let's go back so we can see a little bit more. She's cueing him right now to, oh, sit up, look at that cute little belly. Oh my goodness, and of course reinforced it right away. Now you were mentioning some of the different behaviors that he's already learning. Sit up is obviously one of them. What's another important one that you've already taught him? Um, so he does know target, so he knows how to target to my knuckle. So okay. when I put my knuckle up there when he's not fully chewing that banana, uh, he will go ahead and you say target, and he'll touch it, and then he gets a little snack. That's perfect. Okay, so all of you that are regulars and you've watched so many different Z-Learning features, you know that targets come in all shapes and sizes. We've seen Ms. Piggy, our Texas tortoise target train. We've seen our harbor seals target train. Some of them are larger buoys. You kind of have to fit the animal size. And I guess a knuckle is a great size <laughs> and handy. You always have it with you, of course. <laughs> now, oh, he has a little bit of a scratch. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna start scrolling through. I gotta pay attention though, to all of your questions that y'all are sending in. I saw one, somebody was, oh, Tiffany, you were wondering how long will Picante stay with his mom? So they can actually live in the same area for lengthy amounts of time. So even once he becomes a, an adult, they won't really bother each other. They'll kind of just live in the same area. So he could live here for a long amount of time and not have any issues. There are probably plans to move him at some point, whether it's for breeding uh, or if it's for programming. But for now, he's really enjoying it here in the RCO tunnel. So don't worry, everybody. There is no immediate plans for us to say see you later to Picante. He is here for the foreseeable future, probably hanging out with mom, maybe meeting dad eventually. Dad's still living behind the scenes, so right now we just have the two porcupines here inside the habitat with us right now. But like Becca just explained, if everything goes well, all three should be able to cohabitate. This should be just fine. But of course that could change just depending on personalities. Oh my goodness, look at those little teeth dark. too. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I remember a couple weeks ago when we were in here and somebody fell asleep multiple <laughs> times during our feature. It's been an exciting day. I don't think either one of these two know anything about the banner or the name. They'll have to start to get used to all of that, I guess. <laughs> now, Becca also has here, I want to show you. Oh, he's a very sloppy eater. He's been dropping all the snacks all down here. But she has a little container full of all those healthy snacks from corn. The green, I guess, is kiwi. Oh, it's kiwi. Oh my gosh, I was going to say green pepper. Kiwi, sweet potato, lots of different types of variety of foods. I can say the olive, our mom, she loves kiwi, but so far Picante does not like kiwi. He is really all about the banana being his favorite with this sweet potato being <laughs> probably a second favorite. Oh, Megan asked a great question. So Megan's noticed with other baby animals, say like Zakoda and Mo, that they like to play a whole lot. Does Picante have any inkling to play around? <laughs> Sometimes he gets like really excited, especially after eating a good amount of snacks, and you'll see him zooming around here on the branches. These guys are nocturnal, so a lot of his partying and a lot of his playing happens at night, so we're not really here to see that. He can do whatever he wants, and then by the time we get here, usually he is fast asleep. But usually <laughs> after a little snack, he'll take a power nap, and then he can be seen zooming all around this exhibit. Well, and at his age, he is so independent. He can climb all around with his claws, his hands, gripping around, and then of course that prehensile tail as well. So Picante is great at getting around, but don't expect him to roll around like the gorilla babies do. Tiffany, you're wondering why is dad not with him? Um, Richard, actually, father of Picante, um, is hanging out inside of our animal hospital. He had a procedure recently, and he's actually still hanging out there as his quills are growing back. <laughs> so
So he's hanging out there right now giving picante and all of plenty of personal space, but eventually he'll join on in and be introduced, of course, and join the three. Yeah, now we're getting tired. Here I comes was that just nap noticing we that. <laughs> he hasn't started squinting his eyes too much yet. Keep coming in with those questions, everybody. We might have to time this based around somebody's nap, though. My goodness. <laughs> oh, he's turning around on all of you. I do want to give another quick thank you to everybody who sent in their votes. It was too much fun to read all the comments from different school groups that sent in a whole class load of votes from our members that were supporting us and naming Picante. Thank you so much for sending in all those votes. Like I said, we tallied them all up. And don't worry, if you didn't vote for Picante, you're going to grow to love this spicy little guy. We got lots more to share about him, of course. Because even just a couple weeks ago to now, he has changed so much and learned so much from Becca and the team of animal ambassador keepers here at the zoo. Oh gosh, Becca, he's just not in the mood. No corn on the cob for him. He is just ready to take that nap. He has worked hard. <laughs> he has worked way too hard. Well, and it's funny because I'm noticing out of the corner of my eye down here, Olive is trying to catch some Z's too. I think we might be interrupting her, her midday nap too. She's starting to get a little sleepy on this side too. We can see if she might like a piece of corn. Here, I'll go ahead and scooch back so that you can get in closer. Once again, everybody who's tuning in, I went ahead and put the name down in the caption today. So that way when you reshare this video, you can let everybody know that maybe your name was selected. You voted for Picante and thanks everybody for helping vote. But let's go ahead and get a view of all of it. She's next away. Now, how many years have you been working with Olive here at the zoo, Becca? I have been working with Olive for two years. Wow. And so she knows over 11 behaviors all throughout this enclosure it's that amazing. both help us with husbandry and medical procedures and then some that are also kind of just fun for her to know and show off her natural behaviors. Sure. What would probably be your most complicated behavior that you had to teach her? Currently we are working on ultrasound training with her um, just so that next time we have a baby, we can get a really good picture of that baby. Sure. That one's really complicated because it doesn't just involve me, but it also includes our vet staff. Yep. So our vet members have to come down. There's a machine that has to be in here. There's gel that goes into it. There's a wand that's kind of used to search around, find that baby. And so there's new people, new sounds, new machinery. And so there's a lot of steps that go into making sure that that is successful. Absolutely. Well, and when Picante was still inside of Olive, the vet staff actually did get an ultrasound on her and her growing baby. But what they did was they actually did it through a transport crate. So they actually shot the, the not the ultrasound, I'm sorry, the x-ray. <laughs> right as I said, I was like, oh, wait a second, Becca's going to catch me. <laughs> they actually shot the x-ray through it. So we were able to see a little bit of skeletal structure but like Becca's explaining, an ultrasound would give us such a better view of a baby. So being able to have that trained behavior so that way it's a voluntary behavior that Olive's familiar with would be much, much easier for her and for us to know about those growing little ones. Emily, I saw your, co your comment about him not feeling well. Don't worry, Picante feels just fine. He hasn't overeaten. He's just a growing baby. And as you know, with growing babies, nap time sometimes is any time of day and he's just having a little bit of a snooze. And it looks like Olive's kind of maybe napping as she eats her snack too. <laughs> All right, everybody, I think that might be our cue. We're gonna go ahead and zoom back on Olive. I'll give you one last quick view of Picante, because he truly did, he tucked he himself asleep. in. He's sleeping, y'all. All right, let me go ahead and back up though. We gotta say thank you, of course, to Becca. She's sneaking in one last snack, of course, for Olive before we go. Becca, thanks so much. We, of course, thanks, couldn't have done it without you. All right, everybody. Once again, welcome to Picante and joining us here at the Riverbanks family. If you're here at the zoo today, swing on by the Riverbanks Conservation Outpost. Like I said, the banner with his name will be up for the rest of the day. We'll see if the, the porcupines discover the fact that they used banana smushed up as glue. Might taste like a nice treat since Picante loves bananas so much. But thanks everybody so much for joining us live today. We are so excited to welcome him and officially name this little guy. 
We're very, very excited. And we can't wait to see all of you again next Wednesday at noon. We'll be meeting our flamingos again. It's been far too long since we've spent time with our flamingos. We'll be getting plenty of updates and we will see you at noon then. Thanks so much, everybody, and have a great day.